My name is Adam Sandler Instead of making jokes I like to look into the camera And say oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh Are you an everyday nerd? Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications So that you don't miss the next episode Alright, so This idea was awful. Yo, welcome to your everyday nerd. I'm your host, Zach Steiner, and welcome to the first official annual Adam Sandler Week. That's right. Adam Sandler Week. Did you know when you subscribe to this channel, you'd be getting an entire week of Adam Sandler? That's right. For the first episode of the first annual Adam Sandler Week, we're going to be taking a look at the most nostalgic movie for me when it comes to these movies, 51st Dates. I work at an aquarium. Aquariums make me super horny. That's not funny. Don't rub those. When it comes to the man, the myth, the legend, Adam Sandler, it's quite obvious that a lot of his movies are not good. In fact, this week alone, we're going to be talking about a couple that are just downright awful. But, surprisingly, oddly enough, in his treasure trove of films, if you want to call them films, Adam Sandler has a couple of movies that are good and enjoyable and entertaining. And in my opinion, 51st Dates is at least some of those words. Now I'm not going to say that 51st Dates is a masterpiece because it's by far not that. I wouldn't even say that it's objectively good. I think it, in, in my personal humble opinion, I think that 51st Dates is a good movie to watch on drugs. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I personally like 51st Dates. I watched it when I was a kid. I enjoyed it then. I still enjoy it now. Again, I don't think it's good. I think there's a lot that's wrong with this movie. But when I look at the entire package, there's just certain aspects that make me love this movie. And I, love is, is a strong word. And it's a strong word to say about anything, especially Adam Sandler movies. But I, I do, I love this movie. And the main reason I love 51st Dates is because of the chemistry between Adam Sandler and Drew Barrymore. For those of you that don't know, which is I don't know, I don't know at this point. Does anybody does anybody still watch these movies? I feel like I feel like we're out of the prime of the Adam Sandler movies, which is why this series is gonna be so good in like five years. I'm so excited to do the fifth year of Adam Sandler week and just hate myself so much. Fifty First Dates is a movie about Adam Sandler falling in love with Drew Barrymore, except. Oh no, this is wacky and weird. Drew Barrymore has short-term memory loss. Every single day when she wakes up, she forgets the day that just happened before that. So essentially, she's living the same day over and 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 over again. All in all, this is an interesting premise to me. You have this guy, loves this girl, he has to go on 50 first dates in order to keep going out with this girl, in order to even get her to marry him one day. Is it realistic? I don't think so. I have a hard time believing that if I ever had short term memory loss, some woman could just randomly come into my life and make me watch this movie every single day telling me how much I love her. I think she's crazy. I think I need a restraining order from her. It depends on how cute she is. Which is why I think this movie is even less realistic because Adam Sandler is not exactly what you'd call a 10 out of 10. So, anyways, the charm of this movie lies in the fact that Drew Barrymore and Adam Sandler have movie chemistry. They are the perfect, and I, I would agree with this, they are the perfect movie relationship. They started working together back in the 90s with The Wedding Singer, which I will be talking about this week. And then another 10 years later, they were like, let's make another movie. So they made 50 First Dates. And then now every single decade, they make another new movie together. Their last movie was in 2014 with Blended, which I will be talking about this week, unfortunately. And they're planning on doing another movie in the next like five to probably 10 years. It, it's going to be cool. I'm excited for it. But the one thing that all these movies have in common is that these two actors work really, really well together. When they fall in love, it's believable. And that's why I enjoy 50 First Days, because as a rom-com, it does the romance well. Now we got to talk about the comedy. 
So this movie starts off with Adam Sandler being a pickup artist. And I, it, it, that's not believable at all. But I also completely forgot that this happens in the movie when I rewatched it. But yeah, he's like dating a bunch of different women. And then it, it just basically shows that Adam Sandler's character has commitment issues. So when he meets Drew Barrymore in a diner one morning for breakfast, Adam Sandler will be proud that I kept that birthday. It, it's, it's kind of like confusing that this man is falling in love with somebody. That's really as far as it goes. These characters aren't exactly deep. It, it, it's, it's a comedy. This is supposed to be a rom-com that you watch with somebody. I don't know. I watched it by myself. The comedy, if I was to give the comedy in this movie an arbitrary rating of one out of 10, I would probably give it like a four. Like, it's not really that funny. There are moments that I chuckled at, like when this walrus pretends to have like a heart attack, then ends up throwing up on this one woman who is Adam Sandler's coworker because, oh yeah, by the way, Adam Sandler is like a zookeeper for Arctic animals. His best friends are a penguin and a walrus. So I still don't understand how the hell he's picking up girls every night because the main source of comedy for any Adam Sandler movie is through its unique and wild characters. This cast has some really weird characters. The only characters that I'd say are like actually good are Drew Barrymore's character because of this short term memory loss thing. It works well. I like it. Her father because he genuinely cares about her. He wants to like do good for her. He genuinely doesn't like Adam Sandler at first, but then he goes, you know, grows to love him like, like his own son. It's cute. It's heartwarming. It's nice. But then there's characters like Drew Barrymore's brother, whose entire stick is he's like this little bitch that takes steroids and, and he brags about it. And then there's this woman who, who, like I said, works with Adam Sandler and she gets called a man like five times within the movie. Peak 2004 comedy, everybody. And then there's this couple who works at the diner that Drew Barrymore and Adam Sandler meet at. And like the woman's fine because again, she genuinely cares for Drew Barrymore. And she's like, Adam, watch out this. You're going to hurt this woman and we're not cool with that. But then you got like her husband, I think it is, who, who's just a guy that calls um, Adam Sandler Reese's Cups because he likes Reese's Cups, I guess. Oh, oh crap. I just realized. He calls them Reese's Cups because it's product placement. That's another... What? I didn't even think about this. Okay, so when you watch five Adam Sandler movies, like literally back to back to back to back to back, you realize, you realize that product placement is a big part of it. And I watched 50 First Dates first, and I didn't even think about the fact that oh, this movie might have product placement. But... It makes sense. At the end of the movie, you even see like a gigantic box of Reese's Cups. And spam, spam, it's, it's another, this movie. So when I think about 50 First Dates, I think of a really cute romance. I love the way that Adam Sandler gets Drew Barrymore to fall in love with him 50 <laughs> times. It's awesome. It's cute. There's some of that that's really, really dumb. But... Is this a good movie? No, it's not. It, it, it's a bad movie. Just like every single one of his other movies, pretty much. The comedy is just not funny. There's so many dumb things that happen in this movie just out of nowhere. And you kind of just have to deal with that. Fortunately, there's not as many dumb things that happen in this movie as there are in other movies we're going to be talking about this week, which is why I'm not going to like list a bunch of examples of dumb shit that happens because for the most part, this is a movie that actually takes its plot and makes that the entire movie. As you'll see later this week, Adam Sandler movies have filler. So there we have it. One Adam Sandler movie to go. Like 50 more left, like 50 first dates. Oh boy, guys, I just want I just want you to know that I'm doing this. I don't know why I'm doing this, but here's the thing: 
here's the thing. I hope you guys will enjoy the very first annual Adam Sandler week. We'll be back tomorrow to talk about Blended. My name is Adam Sandler. Instead of making jokes, I like to put on a wig and act like a woman because that's what I do. <laughs> it's funny how you say, you know what I mean? Well, I guess I'm a sellout now. This episode of Your Everyday Nerd is brought to you by my Discord. If you've been enjoying any of my episodes of Your Everyday Nerd or anything else on the channel of Zack Snyder Productions, then I want to invite you to the Zack Snyder Productions Discord. Over the past year and a half, I've really been able to get close to a lot of the members in the community through Discord. Without Discord, I wouldn't be able to be as close with the community as I have been. So I want to get more people that are watching the videos here over there so we can talk about anything and everything that you guys want to talk about. We talk about movies and games, TV shows, anime, pretty much anything. Oftentimes we'll get into voice chat and just talk while we're playing games. It's pretty fun. And occasionally I do a movie night, which I want to bring back in 2019, where on Friday nights we watch a movie together using a program called Rabbit or Parsec. And it's pretty fun. I like it. A lot of people there like it. Uh, you don't even have to watch the videos to be in the Discord. So bring your friends. It's just there to have a good time. And hopefully you guys will uh, be able to meet new people within the community that way. So check out the link in the description box below to join the Discord, and I hope to see you there soon. Well, that's all the time we have for today. If you liked the video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you didn't, you can hit that dislike button. And uh, let me know what you're looking forward to on Adam Sandler Week. I'll be um, covering them all week for the next 20 years. As long as he keeps on making movies, we'll be here. Go and subscribe for more Your Everyday Nerd. I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye. My name is Adam Sandler.